Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks so much for watching my videos. This video is to promote my webinar. It's the one for September. I didn't do one in August. This one is packed with information. I have quite a bit of information in there that I want to talk to you about because this time frame that we're coming up into is extremely important and some of the things that you'll be experiencing here in September for some people they'll be able to be finished sooner for some people things will cycle again for the next uh, seasonal cycles through full moons through retrogrades things will continue cycling and some of the former assistance that you've had is gone however there will be a greater ability to connect to higher energies and alleviate some of this yourself. So the very first thing I would like to say to you is that while I do applaud a lot of people for reaching out to your twin, you really did, you talked to them, you had a dialogue, you had a conversation, you sent them things. From now on, some of that may or may not be successful and there's reasons for that the largest reason is that it outside influences are going by the wayside it's you are the only one in the entire universe who can influence the, your twin you also are becoming creator god and goddess and that is important that you know how to connect your higher energies now what I'd like to also impress upon you is that in doing so things take a different direction so you're floating along down here you're floating on this river of life and you hit these obstacles or these rocks in the stream how do you get to the next stream how do you jump some of these timelines how do you accelerate things for yourself it's going to be with connecting the higher energies there is a higher stream of energy and it's like getting into the East Australian current but it's better you're actually getting into the universal and cosmic level of love in a new way in a higher level and the anchor points are in your body it's up to you to anchor this into your body and things will keep shifting changing changing up suddenly it enables you to feel the currents feel the winds of change know when the wind is coming under your wings some of this you'll get really good at some people have gotten really good at it in the old dimension and they're still trying to stay there and your twin flame is saying to you hey come on it's time let's go let's go enough playing around in the old so how do you stop some of the mental distractions the mental uh, scatter where people are trying to do too many things at once and you cannot focus and you can't feel which is the first thing to take care of how do you f get rid of the mental fog and as we go along here over the next few weekends you will probably feel quite a bit of depression coming from the collective you're rising up from it uh, we are actually lifting up quite a bit and it's almost impossible not to feel some of it and it's going to take quite a few of your resources to get yourself through it and not fall down into the doldrums only you can do this and when you do do it please know you do it for your twin you're always going to do each other, do things for your twin for each other if you improve they improve if you slip they slip that's how it is it doesn't matter if they're in your house or across the world that person has an eternal connection to you and I am speaking specifically to twin flames especially blu-ray twin flames especially people who are golden ray twin flames who've come here from the new earth for finishing the last year karma and divine counterparts who've made the decision and divine counterparts in a lot of ways have it a bit easier because they don't have quite the level of soul damage and they haven't uh, they're not spread across dimensions and timelines like twin flames are in some ways 
twin flames have much more of the creative ability and divine counterparts have much more of a vertical direct connection. So it doesn't make anyone better or worse. It's important to stick to your own true love story and feel what to do. Now, what I'm calling this webinar, I call it universally free to fly. And the reason is, is you are freeing yourself up universally. And that entails several things. So what I talk about in here, I talk about the last of the alleviation of the mental and emotional. And some of you may know of a video I did April of 2014 where I actually said in there in order to really come together the way a lot of you want to. Not just having coffee over breakfast or something like that. The way that you really want to, 75% uh, of the mental and emotional has to be gone. You know, and that's approximate, but it is pretty much 75 to 80% has to be gone. And I talk in my webinar about what some of those things are. I've actually spoken in my webinar about what some of those things are going to be and will be. And it's for some people, it's all coming up now. And it's going to be the subtleties. It's going to be things like the bitterness of disappointment, angers you didn't know you had, things that start to get triggered out of you from anywhere. And how do you alleviate it? How do you clear it? and bring in your higher connections and keep them anchored into your body. So it will be the mental emotional connections with soulmates, which does include spouses. It can include friends with benefits types of arrangements. It can include um, people who are pseudo lovers, false twins, mental emotional false twins. It is any kind of karmic relationship. If you have a mother who's always in your business about asking, you know, where'd you get the money for that? Where'd you get the money for that? How are you going to afford this or that? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And how do you get that person out? You have to clear your universal karma with them because you don't want that interference in your union. And interference is the mildest form of how some of that feels. When there's other people in your union, it feels very, very strong. It's a very noticeable, tangible feeling because your energetic bodies can feel it. What? Yes, you're not crazy. You know you felt that, didn't you? You felt things come between you. You felt things being said. You maybe even felt things from their mental, emotional body. You may be feeling the thoughts of your twin flame. You may be feeling mental beliefs as they are leaving. And how do you hold steady with it? Um, false twins, the military, the religion, the government. I was reminded of something. I, I told you I hardly ever watch TV. I, I shouldn't say I never watch TV. Happened to be a show on called Mysteries at the Museum. And it was about, uh, there was a uh, museum that has artifacts from a war between the Native American uh, people, the what we call Indians formerly, and the... Uh, U.S. Army, the Union Army. And what happened was the U.S. broke their treaty and wanted that land for mining purposes. So they sent General Custer and uh, Sitting Bull was the Sioux chief, the Sioux Lakota tribe. And he said, if I can't live the way I'm supposed to be free, this is it. I will fight to the death for this land. And there are morphic resonances that linger in these places from the people who died with their convictions, putting their heart and soul into these things. One side determined and the other determined. And I remember reading something of, you know, there's in different countries, there are militias determined to go to war with their own governments. And where does this come from? Well, it comes from things like this broken promises. How many times he has a twin flame broken their promise? And this is the mental emotional or, or lies of omission, things like this, where they're not quite telling you the truth. 
They're telling you things that you want to hear because that's how it's always been done. They break the promises because they don't know any other ways. And yet they're not operating from the heart. So cracking off that mental, emotional, peeling away from the collective and cracking it out of your union, that's what I'm talking about here. So yeah, the military, the religion, the government. Because sometimes twin flames have been on opposite sides of the coin. They really have. That's been one of the karmic uh, relationships that we have played out. It's been being uh, on opposing sides, enemies from, I mean, look at the story of Romeo and Juliet. We're from two families that hate each other, and there's a feud going on. So how do you get rid of that? Okay, what is it? Okay, because as we go along here, you're going to feel it. You'll feel depression. You'll feel head pressure or mental stress. You will possibly feel anxiety. And I don't wish this upon you. I'm trying to open your eyes and say there's reasons why this is happening. Okay, so the physical body houses your human light body. You are a human angelic. And... This is the gate. And what was the lion's gate for? It was for closing the gate. You are closing the gate on everything you do not want in your union. Get it out. Close the gate. I mean, honestly, it's like closing the bedroom door on all the pets and the kids and, you know, uh, mothers-in-laws, fathers-in-laws. Do you want anyone's presence in your union? No. No, they don't belong there. It is your private space. You need space anyway. Your essence is immense. Even the parts that you're pulling in here. You're going to need space. Sometimes it translates as isolation. It may be lonely. It's not going to be lonely forever. Things are happening so that the true twin flames can come together and that it's easy for people to be able to leave the relationships that they have especially marriages, and I want to encourage a lot of people. When I do readings, and I say this in the webinar too as a reminder, it's as though everything is spinning in these time circles around the person's, around the couple's heart. And I can feel the spouse, or it could be husband or wife or boyfriend, where their significant other is. This is intended as win-win-win for everyone, where everyone goes on to their true love, regardless of what the connection is. But if you are a true twin flame, you do know in your heart you've lived with your twin before. You've been with them. You've flown in the colors before. You've been multidimensional with them. You've been here on Earth before. And a lot of you have memories of your past life, for a lot of you, you, only one of you may have that. For a lot of the counterparts, that life has been very uh, maybe traumatic and it's been archived in the Akashic Records so that it doesn't distract your twin. So when you ask your twin, don't you remember any of us, they may legitimately be saying to you, no, I don't. But what you want to work on is them feeling the connection. That's where my webinar comes in because all of your connections are within. Everything you need is within. This is how you clear things. This is how you maintain. This is how you heal things. This is how you communicate. This is how you influence and create with your twin. You are creators. Part of creating is dismantling. Okay? When I bought my house, I had, it was an older house. It was, you know, probably uh 30, 40 years old at the time I bought it. And I wanted to do some remodeling. And good thing I had a really good guy as my contractor because what happened was he said, well, what about the water pipes? What about your electricity? I'm going to take a look at that. And he was very wise. And I want to encourage you, be wise. Use the wisdom of the age of your soul, not your age as an excuse. Your age is an excuse. The wisdom of your soul is what you're using here. Because as it turned out, putting in the putting in new water pipes was right on upgrading the electrical 
made it possible when you put the infrastructure in, all your connections are in. Strengthen your infrastructure. Open it up. Expand it. Go out to your grid. I talk about that stuff in my webinar and mostly through the exercises. Okay, I talk about how to bring in and open your light body connections for the new angelic parts of you. The new electric uh, feminine and masculine and the new magnetic masculine and feminine is starting to come in. And not only is it uh, coming in, let me just show you. It is coming in and it's coming up. You have a love bubble. You have the parts of you which are going to um, help you operate in a multiple way. So, you know, once again, I have some little props here. And I want to show you, you know, we've got, you know, here's the old masculine, couldn't get the helmet off. Okay, he's kicked away by the new masculine. And, you know, his twin flame, she's been trying to make sense of things, trying to feel out where is he, I can't feel him, I can't feel him. And she's actually looking in the wrong direction. She's looking down here on Earth. Where are you? Where are you? He's going to shatter through that glass ceiling and get rid of it so that they're able to see each other. Okay? They're able to see each other and, be, and look at him. He's all beach ready. He is beach ready. He's ready for fun. He's ready to kiss her. She's ready to kiss him, and they'll be able to see each other. So part of doing this, part of getting your angelic light body ready, is knowing what to cut away. What, are, what kind of karma is breaking up from your union? It's different for everybody. No two couples have exactly the same things. It may be similar, like, you know, this couple's married to someone, that couple's married to other people, you know, he's got a job he hates, that guy's got a business that's going nowhere and he doesn't know what to do, and, you know, his twin flame wants to start up a business, but he's not sure if he should go with her or not. There's all kinds of stuff. And the main part is connecting with your twin. And, you know, while this is a depiction of it, I want to really encourage you that the direction we're going here is for couples together. Couples together. You were created together, you've journeyed together, you've woven all through the universe together. And I talk about in my webinar why the karma, why, why? Why do we have this? Why do we have that? How can my twin flame just go back to a soulmate? How? Well, it's through the old mental emotional connections. Well, I want to get rid of it. How? Okay. Thank you for asking. Because I have exercises for finishing the universal karma. I have five exercises. It is done through the organs of your body. There are also suggestions for nutrition especially for this time, because there's parts of you that will be affected. For a lot of people, it will be the eyes. It'll be the upper senses. It will be everywhere that you want to kiss each other. You'll want to kiss each other, and you'll be able to spark up a lot of it with kissing, with eye gazing. And yes, some of this is still being done while you are physically separated from your twin. So, Finishing the universal karma will include family, home, friends, divorce. And I don't pretend to know all of the divorce laws. In fact, when I looked on Wikipedia, there are three countries in the world that have no divorce law whatsoever. I'm not going to say which ones they are. Don't get yourself distracted here. What you are doing is a divorce from the things that you agreed on a high level. Yes, we'll do this. Yes, we'll do that. Yes, I trust that soulmate. I trusted them to let go at the appropriate time and it's expired now. Well, guess what? They will. 
that's your focus on conclusion, conclusion and being with your twin. And family, home, friends, divorce, children, so that you can have entertainment, travel, and fun. And one of the things to know that I've talked about very, oh gosh, a couple months ago, about five avenues of careers that people are in or their twin flame is in. And it was music, politics, religion, science, and technology. A lot of people that I've been talking to, that actually is the glass ceiling of their twin flame. There's someone involved in religion, maybe a minister or a monk or a priest of some kind or some other person that works loosely in religion or is connected to it in any culture. And that's as far as their mental emotional is. Or somebody in politics who thinks the only way to make these changes is going to be the same old way. And they're not, they're not really getting it. Someone in music who may be very accustomed to the way things are, and, or I've got to write these kind of songs, or I've got pressure on that, and there's all these songs pouring out from the love of my heart. I don't even know where they're coming from. I have lyrics that I'm writing down. And many of you twin flames, you speak to each other across the miles through lyrics, through words. The messages come again and again and again. Don't give up. Don't give up. Your twin flame is always going to be worth waiting for. I don't care how long it is. And for some people, this is something that I want to say to you. Um, everyone's pain, someone's pain is not greater than another person's pain. It does no good to compare pain and commiserate. Focus on what you do have in your union. Focus on the positive. Be grateful. And I'm going to uh, say this too. There are many directions that the light is popping open in, just like I illustrated in my last video with the world. So the real key to freedom is being able to be free to fly, being free universally. So try my webinar. At the very least, these exercises, I want to let you know that these exercises, I have set them up especially with people in mind knowing that you have busy schedules. They're not lengthy. They're little bites of do this, do this, and you're done. You're done in a reasonable amount of time because I know you got other things to do. I know you want to be with your twin. You don't want to be doing things and doing things and doing things. This is always so much work, Patricia. I know. I know. <laughs> I've been doing the work. But I want to let you know I'm also a prototyper and we've focused it and we have scaled it into something that is very user friendly. Some of this stuff may be very familiar to you and yet it's very specific and you may wonder at how easy it is because I actually, it's for your light body and it enables you to do it in the privacy of your own home at your own pace at any time 24-7 and it's available at the link down below. It's available on my website. And my website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. And yes, I do readings. Yes, I do sessions uh, for people that I've done a session for. I also do uh, follow-up consultations if you find that you are needing some additional uh, assistance. Uh, some guidance. I focus very much on getting high guidance. And as I like to say, hey, ask a Blu-ray. We know. Because we have uh, very strong connections. Our connections go all the way to back to source. And we are here to guide. We are here to teach. That doesn't make me the most important person on the planet. That makes me someone that for this time is here to guide and teach. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you purchase it. I hope that you find it helpful. And thanks again.